Hi, I'm Melissa Galifo, and I'm here with Dr. Edward Dickerson, medical director and owner of Fayetteville Plastic Surgery, Cape Fear Aesthetics Med Spa, and today we're going to talk about non-surgical anti-aging. So what exactly is non-surgical anti-aging? It's a great question. Uh, a lot of my clients are not necessarily ready to go to the operating room, either do not have the downtime, or they would like something to just get them ready for their um, family reunion or wedding. And so the non-surgical facelift, or what the terms that have been thrown around are liquid facelifts and no downtime. So a non-surgical or a liquid facelift uh, involves several different items to refinish the skin, to use uh, muscle relaxers to help out the muscles of activation, as well as using fillers to fill in some of the dents. So how do you know, or how would a woman know if a non-surgical anti-aging procedure is right for them? Uh, that's a great question. Some individuals are not candidates for non-surgical rejuvenation. They do need more of a surgical procedure. Uh, for those individuals who have, let's say, lines of animation which include the crow's feet, or the number 11 sign, or even the horizontal uh, lines on the foreheads, they are fantastic candidates for neuromodulators like Xeomin, like Botox, like Dysport. Uh, you've seen those around. Uh, those individuals who are concerned, let's say these distraction lines, or the smile lines around their face, their marionette lines, or even want to give a little push-up bra to the face, using fillers, whether it's radius, um, whether it's uh, Juvederm or even whether it's uh, Belotero, all those work very well to basically enhance those uh, lines of indentation. Uh, I want to kind of, the story that I usually create is one of a fine automobile and we'll use the fillers to take out the little dents and as well as the Botox to take out a little dents and then we'll use things like microdermabrasion, CO2 laser resurfacing to help keep that uh, paint job washed and waxed. Can you tell me a little bit about what's going on with the aging of the facial structure and why we start to need these things as we get older? Fantastic question. Um, for those individuals a more youthful time, in our world, at least in the facial cosmetic world, we love fat. And essentially, we like the fat that brings us more hills. When we start to age, we lose some of that structural fat, which gives us more of a valley, if you will, and it casts a shadow, and therefore a much more aged uh, individual versus a much more youthful one. And so what's happening is we're losing some of that fa fat structure, and then, of course, the gravity monster is bringing everything down. And so the liquid facelift is the, once again the ability to give ourselves a little push-up bra, fill in the little dents, um, using a little lip augmentation with some of the finer fillers um, is fantastic. Um, and so all of those things that we can use to once again give that rejuvenated look. Can you tell me about some of the products on the market and the ones that you use in your office? Well, let's divide the face in half. Let's talk about the upper part of the face where we're essentially talking about those areas of facial animation. And once again, those are neuromodulators. The ones that we use uh, in our practice, and more importantly, the ones that we see on the market, are the grandfather of the Botox. Uh, we're using more and more Xeomin in our practice. Dysport has been out there for a while as well. And so those neuromodulators we use for, once again, wrinkles of animation. For the filler products that we use, most notably for the nasal labial folds, uh, at Fayetteville uh, Plastic Surgery, uh, we use Radius. Uh, it's a little bit more thicker filler. It gives us a little bit longer result and lasts about a year. For those who need a little lip augmentation, Juvederm Bellotero is, is, works very nicely in my hands, but there's a couple of other products on the market that work quite well. Um, the fillers can last anywhere from 9 months to 12 months, and the neuromodulators will last about 3.5 to 4 months. So tell me what's going on in your practice right now with the radius. I heard there's a special offer for women. Uh, yes, there is. Um, since we do quite a bit in our area, uh, Mertz has uh, been very uh, nice to offer a uh, buy one, get one free for our folks down here at Fayetteville Plastic Surgery. And uh, especially for our individuals who have used radius before, it's a fantastic opportunity for us to tell them thank you and just get, you know, once again, more volume, uh, a little bit uh, more convenient price. And where can they find this offer? Um, we are very um, pleased to have teamed up with Constant Contacts um, and using their Save Local program. Uh, we usually will put those things out on our website, 
our social media, um, as well as if you download our app for Cape Fear Aesthetics, you can find that um, free as well. Uh, however, the offer is only, um, uh, you can only get that offer only online. You can't get that in-house. Okay. And this radius, it promotes volume and stimulates your own collagen? Uh, that's correct. Uh, the great thing about using a collagen stimulator is, once again, not only will it give you that instant result, but it will give you the opportunity, especially uh, when using more and more, to get a layered new collagen. For those individuals who are using a hyaluronic acid product that's a little bit thinner, like for the lips, although that does not stimulate collagen, it does give an immediate result as well. And how quick and safe are these procedures? Uh, excellent question. Uh, most of my clients will get these done before work, at their lunch hour, or even after work. Um, there's minimal downtime. Some people will see a little bit of redness. Um, for the ladies, they'll just cover it up with a little bit of makeup. For the guys, they essentially, because of their thicker skin when we're removing the lines right there, um, they won't have an issue as far as going back to work. Uh, so that's the fantastic thing. It's the liquid facelift over your lunchtime hour. And what kind of services or what kind of care do patients need to do after fillers and Botox to help protect their investment and the longevity? Uh, as far as their immediate um, treatment, there is no special um, uh, instructions we give them. We don't necessarily have them massage. We don't necessarily have them um, sit at a certain posture. Over years of experience, we've never seen that to be a significant issue, at least in our practice. Um, but once, you know, again, we take those dents out, we would love to um, be able to educate them how to protect their investment using their microdermabrasion, CO2 laser, most importantly, their sunblock, as well as some sort of maybe vitamin A product that turns over the skin, as well as a nighttime moisturizer. Uh, all my medical estheticians will um, an analyze their skin and essentially come up with a home protocol that works well and easy for them. Anything else you want to say, Dr. Dickerson, about these wonderful services? Well, we um, are very pleased with our merger uh, with Fayetteville Plastic Surgery. We want to, of course, thank Dr. Miller for all his uh, efforts uh, in our community. Uh, and we're, we're really excited to offer new and exciting and cutting-edge um, products for our clients uh, here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Uh, we look forward to providing you know, more of these uh, interviews and information uh, talks for our clients. Um, so y'all have a great day. Thank you, Dr. Dickerson. Thank you.